Hey, what's up guys, how are you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel. Now I've got some great news about an update for LG OLED TVs. So if you own an LG OLED from 2018, I am pleased to announce that at long last, LG have finally added Apple TV. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been patiently waiting for months for this app to appear, and uh, you've been asking me in the comments section, you know, when's it gonna arrive? And yeah, I'm pleased to announce that it just popped up on my B8. This is the uh, 65 inch B8. So yeah, I've not had to actually do anything for it to appear on this uh, bar here. So I just wanna show you guys one thing though that if I actually go to launch the app, it says that there is an update. So uh, it says update for the app, that is. You go to do that app update. So I'm gonna press on that now. And it says to use this application, the software must be updated. Do you want to update it now? So I'm gonna click on yes. So just be uh, aware that there is a software update for the TV itself in order for you to update and use the Apple TV app. I don't know what's going on here, it's like it's stuck. Right, so it's now popped up the uh, update version, which is 052001. So you can update that um, directly from trying to update the Apple TV app, or the other way around of uh, doing the update is doing a long press on the settings button, go to general, then to about this TV, where then it should display your current software version, which mine is 051050. And uh, you can then check for the updates just there and uh, download it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Right, the update is complete and it's a few hours later now. I had a bit of a problem with the internet when it comes to uh, doing the update. But anyway, we got there in the end. And uh, what I'm going to do is just launch the Apple TV app and we will take a look at it. And there we go, it is all loaded up and I've got to say it looks absolutely stunning on this OLED display. The uh, menus really, really do pop. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and signed into my Apple account where I've got a shed load of movies. Reason for this is that they quite often have sales on where you can pick up uh, films real cheap, like uh, 4K films, and uh, they have a vast library of Dolby Vision films as well. And so you know this TV uh, supports Dolby Vision, then it's rude to uh, not take advantage of that and uh, buy up all the films when they're on offer, which uh, I have done many a time. Now I've got a, uh, a few films here. I've got Got this one Jumanji and what I'm going to do is load it up and just show you guys that uh, it does support Dolby Vision so when I click on this with any luck I should get the uh, Dolby Vision logo just up in that corner so it's far away and there we go Dolby Vision Dolby Atmos and as you can see running lovely so back to the main menu and uh, just to quickly show you guys through some of the menus so we've got movies there so you've got your top movies, limited time prices, so on and so forth. It's all nicely uh, laid out in all fairness. It's uh, pretty quick to respond as well. It's not laggy or anything like that, as you can see just there. I've got my library with all my films in. You can uh, search as well. And also it supports the Apple TV Plus. So uh, if you've got that, then uh, you can take advantage of that with your OLED TV. Now just bear in mind that this update may not be available in all regions just yet, but I expect it will roll out to most of them over the next few days or weeks. Well, there you have it then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today and if you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on next one. Bye for now.